Hello, this is Brock Lemires. We are continuing our study of embedded systems designed by looking at data manipulation instructions. In this video, we're going to look at two very widely used instructions called bit set and bit clear. So in the last video, we looked at logic instructions and we, uh, you know, the MSP430 provides four mnemonics for logic instructions. They were invert, uh, and, or, and XOR. And the power of those was that we can do this thing called bit masking. So you looked at how if you anded something with a zero, it clears that bit, okay? And, or the result will be a zero. So you can use that to clear bits within a destination by using a bit mask where you have zeros and ones in there and zeros represent where you want to clear and ones represent where you'd want to leave alone. <clears throat> and we saw the same thing with the OR gate, which allowed us to set particular bits. And we looked at the exclusive OR gate and that allowed us to toggle specific bits. So since those are such uh, common instructions, the MSP430 actually implemented mnemonics for two instructions called bit set and bit clear. And these instructions are a little bit simpler to use because the masks are consistent among them. So for example, if you always try to use an AND to clear and an OR to set, one of the things that happens is that if you think about it, when you use an AND operation, if you wanna, you're, you're trying to clear things. So the bit of interest needs to be a zero in the mask. But if you are using an OR operation to set something, the bit of, in, of interest is a one. And so these two instructions, uh, kind of simplify the process of setting and clearing bits by using a consistent masking scheme. So let's look at bit set first. So bit set, the mnemonic is BIS, and you provided a mask as the source, and the bits that you want to alter correspond to ones within the operand mask, okay? Bit clear, the mnemonic is BIC, you, it will clear bits in the destination corresponding to where ones within the source operation mask are, op, source operand mask exist. So the mask is consistent between them. And what I always think of is wherever there's a one in the mask, that's what you're gonna mess with. Wherever there's a zero, you're gonna leave it alone. And then you allow the instruction to tell you whether you're setting or you're clearing, okay? So once you start using these over and over, it'll be a lot, It'll make, it'll go really quick because it, it's actually very, very simple. You, you provide the mask again, just like when we did the ands and the ors, uh, using immediate mode most commonly within the source, but you don't have to, it can be other addressing modes, but immediate is the most common. And these do work with 16-bit wor word and 8-bit, <clears throat> or these are 16-bit and 8-bit instructions with the dot w and dot b, just like everything. Uh, and that is essentially <clears throat> how it works. So very quickly, why don't we why don't we do a quick example and kind of see how we use these? And it should be pretty quick, okay? Because I'm gonna do file new. I mean, there's not it's there's not a ton you can do with this. They they do what they do, and it doesn't take that long. So I'm gonna go ahead in here and I'm gonna go ASM and I'm gonna call this project ALU because we're still messing with the ALU. We're still doing data manipulation instructions. And let's do bit set and bit clear. Yeah, the, probably would have been easier to do BIS and BIS, but whatever. You know, okay, so here we go. <clears throat> so I'm going to fire up this. I got my MSP430 launchpad board plugged in. <clears throat> I have my, my new code here. I'm, I'm going to pull this over just a little bit so I can kind of see what I'm going to do here. <clears throat> and we're trying to make this pattern in a in a uh, R4 if we initialize it to zero and we use bit set and bit cl clears to do it. Okay, so let's do this. We'll come down to main, main, and we'll come down here and do our jump main, and that's our main loop. And let's come up here and let's initialize R4 to something. So move.b, and let's do an eight bitter so that uh, it's just simpler and because we want to type all these out in binary. So I'm going to do immediate mode addressing and I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight binary and put it into R4. And that just says R4 is equal to zero. <clears throat> okay, so that's what we're going to mess with. And now let's set the two outer bits to get that pattern. So here's the way this works. You go BIS, meaning set, and I'm going to do an 8-bit operation. 
And now I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to put a mask in here and I'm going to, for the source, I'm going to use immediate addressing, meaning that this is the mask to use. It's not the address of where to go get the mask. It is the mask to use. So if I want to set the outer bits, I do this one, and then I go six zeros and one binary and I go R4. And that is it. <clears throat> that is how you do it. So it is going to say, okay, this destination, whatever's in R4, I'm going to go set this bit location where there's a one and this bit location where there's a one and all these zeros, I'm going to leave them as they are. Okay, so now let's do the same thing again, except <clears throat> I'm going to set the inner bits. Okay, and I can actually do this. I can go zero one and then go, and that's going to, it will leave the, it'll only alter these two inner bits. So bit position one and six. And that'll set those bits. <laughs> and then let's keep going. Let's just do this. So zero, zero, one. And yeah, this is a stupid example, but whatever. <clears throat> then bis.b. You actually, the thing that you use these for is uh, when you're configuring registers. So like when, once we start working with peripherals, you're going to see that you need to do a lot of setup where you're setting bits and clearing bits to set up the peripherals the way that you want, like your, your timers and your, your serial ports and this is how you do it so your your startup code is going to be just tons and tons of these okay so if i do that that is going to set all these bits and then let's do let's clear them out so then let's go at this moment in time i will have set where all these ones are and so i should have completely asserted every bit in here so now let's go ahead and clear them so the clear clear instruction is bic standing for bit clear and don't forget that pound sign and i got a whole bunch of extra stuff in there Okay, and now I'm going to come back here and I'm going to go, let us now clear the inner two bits. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go one, two, one, 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 zero, zero, one, 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 binary. And that is going to tell it, hey, I want to clear. That's not even, no, that's not what I want. I want to get this pattern. So I want to clear the inner two bits. I want to go one, two, three, one, one, two, three. So that means I'm going to go right here and I'm going to clear these, these two inner bits which we're still operating on R4, which at this moment it's at, it's all ones. And then, okay, so then let's go bit clear and then let's go pound and then go zero, zero, one, zero, zero, one, zero B. And that doesn't look right either, but that looks right. <clears throat> and we'll do that, R4. And let's just do this just to do our little cool pattern here. I mean, I think it's cool. <laughs> Clear B. Yeah, it's kind of hard to <clears throat> make anything interesting when you haven't got the configuration registers yet. But hey, whatever. Let's we'll check this out. Let's do it. Boom. <clears throat> and what I want to see now, so I'm going to go ahead and assemble, link it, create the executable, executable object file, download it, start a debug session. And now I want to look at R4 in the register viewer. So I'm going to come over here. And I don't need my memory browser. So I go ahead and come down to R4. And let's keep R4 in uh, binary. We'll come down here and we'll set a breakpoint for our first instruction. And we'll go ahead and run to the breakpoint. <clears throat> and then we will step. That clears out R4. And now that's what we're looking at. We're going to look at R4. And here we go. I'm going to set these two outer bits of the lower byte. So I go step. Boom. See it? There they are. <clears throat> now I'm going to set these two inner bits. So I'm going to step. And I set them, and now I'm going to set the next two inner bits. There it is. And then I'm going to set the next two inner bits, and I did it. That's how it works. All the other ones are just left alone. Now let's go ahead and clear some stuff. So on this one, I'm going to go boom. That clears the two inner bits. Then I, I clear the next two inner bits. I clear the next two inner bits, and I clear the next two inner bits. And that's how they work. They're very simple, and you get really used to using them. And you even get used to using hex for the masks. Uh, and so these are very popular, like I said, because you use them to set up a lot of configuration registers. Okay, that's it for bit set and bit clear. Remember to subscribe to my channel so you get all the latest videos, and I'll see you.